I feel like you guys are so behind time. I had billboards for like years, literally years, like four to five years. Nobody say anything. Suddenly, some Bauman guy put a billboard, everybody go crazy. Are you kidding me? This is why Arthur's Corn is so popular because billboard works. You guys make fun of him, you guys rage at him, it works, okay? Look all the attention that he get. Billboard works. Okay? Still, you gotta give it to that guy. He knows what he's doing. He probably is like, okay, we're gonna have an event. World traveling is tomorrow. Billboard up. He spent the money because he thinks it's gonna be worth it. He he thinks it's gonna be great exposure. And guess what? I think he got it. This guy know what he holy shit. I'm so glad that the three other characters that I've got aren't on. How <laughs> can you say the billboard worlds? didn't work? This is the best marketing yes. stunt somebody ever done. This is 8 a.m. by the way, this is 8 a.m. I think it's oh, funny. Okay, okay, so what happens now? Anybody got anything I can read? But why would you bombard you them with match report? What the fuck is wrong with people? Oh, if they do what is wrong, then they face the consequences from Square Enix, right? What is it? Your problem. I, I feel, I don't understand. That is the day and Square Enix problem. You know what I mean? The players have nothing to do with this. Just to recap, a RP event organizer paid thousands of dollars to promote the event in IRL billboards. The picture includes a link to the Discord, which has ERP channels, characters in unreleased data mine clothing, character post in the party too. The fucking, yeah, this is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem, exactly. All this up here is just gray. You can't prove that's Final Fantasy XIV, even with the trademark fine print. Oh my God. Like I said, if they didn't put the Square Enix logo, I think they are fine. So what? If Square Enix have made their feelings on data mining very clear, so what? You can't prove it. You can't prove this. If this doesn't have the Final Fantasy XIV logo, you cannot prove any of this. You just can't. I don't want to say that the organizer did not take it seriously. I think other people take it too seriously. I am not trying to say that what they did is okay, but I do think that There's other people look into this way too much. What are JP talking about? This nobody has. I can tell you right now, right? I don't think Square Enix will go that far to sue them. I'm gonna say Square Enix is not gonna be so stupid to waste money on this. Square Enix, maybe if they do something, Square Enix maybe will just find out who did it or Square Enix will just release a statement on their website in the lawsuit and talk about it. Like, oh, you know, recently there's something, please do not use our trademark. While it is okay to advertise your stuff going on, but don't use our logo, right? Since it's not official, right? I don't think Square Enix will go that far to like, bam, you know? Get your lawyer down, find out who it is, and then like, like, no. You guys are thinking way too much. You guys are looking into this small little situation where you think they should get into trouble. They should. But what I'm trying to say is they won't go that far. This is not a big deal. Yes, they're gonna set an example. But what type of example do you think this is gonna come out? What, send the guy to jail? You think? You really think? You know, you know, some people go into that fight as, oh, good luck. Oh, go find a lawyer. You better lawyer up. Oh, Square is gonna come hard on you. You're gonna go to jail like... Do you really think it's gonna go that far? Come on. Yeah, maybe they would just ban them if they if they find out who and you know they can confirm, you know what I mean? I don't think they will go that far. Nah. I'm not trying to say that what they do is okay. Please get it right. I like pancakes. That doesn't mean I hate waffles. I don't want optional content to be locked behind optional content. That doesn't mean I hate Hewley brand. That doesn't mean I'm okay. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Like when, when I tweet out and say, man, I can't believe uh, Square Enix put optional content behind optional content. Oh, why would you do that? How come you don't say anything about Ultimate? How come you don't say anything about Evilist? Huh? Wait, you, wait, wait, wait. So me don't like Hewley brand being locked, really locked behind Hewley brand. What does that have to do with anything with Evilist? I didn't say, did I talk about Evilist? If you ask me about Evilist, I will tell you the same. I don't think the Relic slash Borgia should be locked behind Evilist. My, uh, my, my statement is exactly what it is. I don't like optional content to be locked behind optional content. Why are you guys saying something else? That's why I don't even bother reply to people because people are fucking dumb. People don't understand the difference. It's the same for this. I'm not trying to say that they won't get into trouble. I am saying, do you think Square Enix will go that far? Do you think this guy is going to go to jail for it? Do you think this guy is going to get sued for hundreds of thousands? <laughs> no, right? So why would people go that far and to think, oh my god, you break the rule, good luck, Square Enix is going to go hard down on you? No! No! That's not what's going to happen. That's what you think is going to happen. That's not what's gonna happen. That is what I mean. I'm not saying that this is not serious. I think you motherfuckers are thinking that this is gonna be serious. This is not something that they will tarnish the Final Fantasy XIV image, okay? Did this break the TOS? Fuck yes. Did this make Final Fantasy XIV reputation go down the drain beyond repair? We need to fucking lawyer up and, 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 and sue whoever did this. 
to gain back property and, and, and name loss? No! Reputational loss? No, right? <laughs> Come on, man! Let's think logically! This is the part where it becomes cringe. When people start to bring things like they, 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 like they know they know, like, like they, they want to show you that they know a lot. They think they know a lot. They think I know a lot. I would like to know why the fuck they did this. What? They do this because of promotion, because of exposure, and they got it. The billboard did its job. Whether it's correct or bad publicity, it, the, the billboard did its job. I'm gonna toss my two cents here and say they consider organizing some streamers. They're probably doing this for at least one reason. They're doing this for eye content, yes. And they're to go viral, grow charity, yes. They probably thought they're gonna make this a huge event that's gonna make them a super popular and then their viewership will blow like, Yes, it did! Which most likely will uh, make the cost it could be worth it in the long run if they work it out perfectly. Unfortunately, they did win about you in one possible way and seems to have uh, backfired big time. I don't think it backfired. Until they really get banned by Square Enix and unless they really get sued by Square Enix, unless they receive a lawyer letter from Square Enix, I don't think it will backfire. Did they lose money for the billboard? Did the guy who put up the billboard lost thousands of dollars? Yes. You know what? Every company lose thousands of dollars when you want to do marketing. But did they get what they want? I think they did. Did they get it the way that they want? Maybe not. But they definitely got the exposure. They definitely get the exposure. I can tell you that right now, right? The billboard did what the billboard had to do. Apparently that Discord is just really bad. It seems like they are pretty dumb and rude. Looks like the... You see, I don't want to go into the Discord and, and, and find out myself, right? But just based on some of these tweets, some of these things that people type, honestly, like what did you expect? You go into a brand new community, you join the Discord, you don't know the whole context, and then the first thing that you type are things like this, as if you are like a lawyer, as if you are like a Square Enix representative, as if you think you know everything, as if you think that what's exactly going to happen to them. What do you expect? What do you expect the mods and what do you expect the... What do you expect the Discord owner to do? Oh, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience that I caused. I'm really sorry that you think this way. This is not what we wanted. I'm sorry that you feel this way. Uh, we will be sure. Like, dude, what do you expect? You come into people's Discord and you type these type of things. You're not even showing empathy. You're not even showing sympathy. You just come in and like, yo, you motherfuckers are doing everything wrong. I hope you motherfuckers get sued. I hope you motherfuckers get what you deserve. What do you expect all these owners to do? Are these owners being rude? Are these owners being ignorant? Yes, I think so. Yes. But do you guys go too far? And you see what I mean? The first thing you're gonna type, not gonna lie, if Square Enix sees, I wonder how much trouble you are in. What do you expect them to type? When you go into people's turf and take a dump in their turf, what do you expect them to type? Do you think you deserve to be welcome? I'm gonna be honest with you, right? Like, if people come to my channel and start backseating me, I will ban them. For example, now, again, man, I'm not trying to defend them, man. I'm I, I, Neither am I gonna go into the Discord to evaluate the situation myself, right? What I'm trying to say is, I think sometimes people just need to mind their own business. It is not a big deal. You can also look at it in a funny way. I don't think that they expected the community to like go down on them, right? But then the community obviously overreacted. For me, right, I will look at this and say, I thought that's funny. They definitely is gonna get either good or bad feedback, but it doesn't matter. I think this billboard done its job. Bravo to the guy who did it. But then whether Square Enix will do anything about them, it's not my fucking problem. I look at it. I think it's a good laugh. I might comment about it. Fuck it. Fuck, you know what? I'm gonna attend this event. If they are still going on, when is it? 9th of July, this Saturday. You know what? I will be here. I will be here. I, I don't even care whether this event is a go, a, a, a go or not. I don't even care. I wanna be here on the 9th of July. I'm just gonna stand here with Gorillion and then we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Will GM come in? Will GM interfere? Or will the event still keep on going? If the event goes on, which I hope it does. I hope the event goes on the way it should be. People are here for a good time and not people coming here to shit talk because I don't think they deserve it. If they do deserve any sort of negative attention, if they do deserve any sort of punishment, that is up to Square Enix. Like I said, if a GM appear or even Yoshi P himself by them put out a statement, then I will say, well, guys, let's not do this in the future. But if this is a go ahead and nothing, no action is taken against them, I hope people don't come to this event with all this attitude. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's not our fucking problem. What? Oh my God, these people got, these people got tens of thousand dollars to put up a billboard. That's sad. Most likely it's crypto money. Maybe somebody need to look in their bank account and see where they get the money from. Holy shit, maybe they stole it. By the way, I just heard in local news that California have one bank that got the robbed. It might be them. I think we should send the FBI after them. So this guy actually even called up. This guy went to call a company to ask how much they cost. These are the numbers they gave me, not that they gave me rental per month. If they are wrong, then blame me on the person that responded to me. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. These people got way, way... This guy got way too much time. This is what happens when you only play Final Fantasy XIV, by the way. Because there's no content, whether you are end gamer or casual. And this is the type of shit 
that end gamer and casual come together because they got nothing fucking else to do and then they post shit like this. I was on that Discord for a while and until I get banned for no reason. Oh yeah, no reason for sure. Yeah, for sure it's no reason. Definitely you go in there, you create an account, you didn't type anything that tr remotely trigger them and then you got banned, surely, of course. Surely. You got banned for no reason, I'm pretty sure. This guy is bullshitting. I can also type something like this. Guys, I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer in real life. Based on my years of experience dealing with stuff like this, this is not the first time I deal with stuff like this. And uh, I'm a lawyer with really high uh, conviction rate. I don't like to fight losing battles. I can tell you right now, this is a type of case that I would not pick up. Because based on my years of studies and my experience as a very experienced lawyer, this is a loose case. I think this guy would definitely get into trouble. I think they could be sued to up to millions. And I do not want it to tarnish my reputation. Good luck to these people. Let me tell you something though. If I am the owner and or the members of this FC, I can technically report all these people. Every one of these people is going to get banned. Anyone who is directly harassing any members of this FC, they're going to get banned. You know why? Because as much as they could say, well, I did it because of this, this is outside of the game. If you guys harass them, that is in-game. Every one of you who type shit to them in-game, you guys can actually get banned. Whereas this so-called legal action is up to Square Enix. This is not up to you. If Square Enix want to tear them down, Square Enix will tear them down. But make no mistake, what you guys do to them in-game, they can actually report all of you. Did they harass you in-game? No. Did they break TOS? Yes. Did they break legal uh, action? Yes. Is that your problem? No. But what you do in-game here, is, is your problem. I feel really bad that these people are getting harassed in game. All these staff, all these organizers get harassed in game. I feel really bad for them. I think they can and they should report anybody who report them. Maybe that's why the GM was here. I wouldn't be surprised the GM was here not because the GM is trying to investigate this situation. I wouldn't be surprised that the GM is here to tell people to calm the fuck down because you guys are actually harassing them. Fuck, I mean, there's a level of dumb behind advertising your FC's ERP event on Billboard. How is this ERP? Did they say ERP? No, right? Yes, their Discord has an NSFW. But why did this billboard give you guys an ERP vibe? Did they say anything about ERP in this like particular billboard? No, right? Why would you say they are, adver they are not advertising ERP? You guys are the one that go into Discord and assume that this event is an ERP. Remember what I said earlier? I like pancakes. That doesn't mean I hate waffle. That's the fucking internet, man. Sadly, that's the internet, really. People always want to say something dumb, right? To carry on the conversation, you know?